I'm Terry Griffith, Senior Director of Counter Threat Operations at Royal Caribbean Group. The ships are definitely floating cities, right? They have power plants on them, they have casinos on them, point of sale systems on them, and they all have their own unique challenges in cybersecurity. One of the reasons that I was really interested in Gen AI is that threat actors, regardless of nation state or criminals, are using AI of some type in their environments to be more effective. Maybe it's a phishing campaign that's generated in a way that will get by some of the other tools. You know, maybe they're writing code. You know, there's all kinds of opportunities there. So that's making them more of a threat. And in order to fight that threat, we either have to increase staff or we have to become automated ourselves. Um, and that's one of the reasons for the dark trace choice was that we can do a lot of things without adding more people to the, to the pipeline. So we have dark trace at our shoreside data centers and across our fleet. So that's well over 52 places that we have dark trace installed. We have uh, set up uh, their, the UV master, which is the manager for us. So we have single pane of glass that we can take a look at. Makes it easier as the tier three incident responders do their work as well as how the SOC can see things, right? It's one place to look. It makes it much, much easier. Well, first off, anytime you're talking about a company that's dealing with human beings, passengers, day to day, the security situation is always heightened, right? Because they know that they're directly involved. And then throw on top of that, these floating cities in which entertainment and fun is the focus, but security is critical and paramount. You're gonna deal with a lot of complexity because with smart cities, they're going to have everything from a hospital to a glass blower to robotic bartenders. All of those are gonna have different signatures, different attack vectors. That attack surface layer is gonna be incredibly complex. So with self-learning AI, Darktrace has threat models that help us monitor for those specific environments based on tactics. And it makes, um, it makes it so I don't need a specialist in every category. I have a tool that's a specialist. All they've got to do is respond to what the threat looks like. Plus with being cloud-based, as uh, it's just easy, right? It's just easy. And so when I had an opportunity to do a proof of concept with it, um, we decided we'd do that on one of our cutting edge new class of ships, which is the Edge. Um, and that was the first ship to get it. We put it out there, we did our testing and went, whoa, right? It was really, this is what we need. And so from that, we've been working along to get the rest of the fleet converted over as well as our shoreside data centers. Royal Caribbean being a company that is innovating constantly means that changing their structure and their format and what they bring on to their vessels from an automation standpoint to an efficiency and capability standpoint. And Dark Trace needs to be prepared to defend all of that space. And that means not thinking about signatures or not only being deployed in certain areas, but being able to see every aspect of the visibility and what's happening within those vessels. 